The Ideation Corner show producer and book author, Damali Sali, donated over 650 copies of her book to three schools and a public library in Kampala City in a bid to boost innovation and entrepreneurship among the youth in Uganda and Africa at large. The reason we are doing this is because uh, it's the young generation, this generation, that needs to be inspired to come up with solutions for our environment, for our context. The schools that received these books on Friday, 21st May 2021 were Chitebi Secondary School, Kansanga Seed School, and St. Dennis Sibugwao Secondary School, Gaba. The book that I wrote, it's supposed to inspire young people, the students, but they can't afford to buy this book. So I can't put it on the market and hope that they can afford to buy it and buy it. So the best way to get this information to them to, uh, is actually to just gift it. So that's why this is a donation, because the people I want to inspire are still students who can't afford to actually buy a book, but they are the ones who need the inspiration. When she wrote these success stories and put them together into a book, she approached us in KCCA and wanted to donate 650 of those books to our schools. Um, we had a conversation with her and agreed that those books needed to go to students in our schools that are less advantaged. I uh, partnered with KCCA so that the, the, the schools we choose are those schools that actually have students who are in need. So that's why you see we are focusing on uh, these uh, universal secondary schools and then also the seed school because that's where you have students whose, um, whose parents are not so well to do that they can afford to take their kids to private schools. Other books are to be donated to the Kampala Capital City Authority, KCCA Public Library, for all people in Kampala to freely access them. Because the thing is, the people I'm trying to inspire, they can't afford to buy the book. So the only way for me to, to achieve my dream of inspiring young people is for me to uh, give it as a gift to the, to the child. And uh, once I'm able to do that, I intend to distribute even more of the books. The Ideation Corner book, whose theme is Ideas and Dreams Fuel Innovation and Entrepreneurship, is a compilation of real and inspirational stories from 21 African entrepreneurs. It seeks to inspire people, especially the youth, to pursue their dreams of becoming entrepreneurs. Through reading those books, I think we're going to get more information about entrepreneurship, as it has already it, it is already existing in our school so we are going to add in more knowledge and achieve our dreams and our ambitions in life so that we can be big big people in life so the book is about inspirational ugandan entrepreneurs who document exactly how they did what they're doing, the, the, the businesses that they've set up, how they set them up, how they thought about it, the challenges that they faced, and how they overcame them. Some of them are still going through them, but the whole point is to inspire their fellow Ugandans so that those Ugandans can also take the same step. You read it, you get inspired. Then you read a second time, your inspiration grows. You read a third time, you emulate one of those youths and you become an entrepreneur someone who is self-reliant in life, someone who is not going to bother your parents to help you look for a job after school. Pursue your dreams, whatever those dreams are, pursue them. Don't kill them yourself in your head, try to pursue them. We are going to use this opportunity you've given to us so profitably that we won't disappoint you. So I hope you are going to take those books as important and keep them well, read them well, don't keep them before you read them. Effectively read this book. Every time you read, reflect what concept have I gathered? How can they better me? What can I do as a person out of the knowledge and wisdom I'm gaining from this book? That is very important ladies and gentlemen we thank her very much for her big heart for being a philanthropist for giving back to our young people and many of them have said to us that they are going to use these skills that they will share and read in the books to become better people thank you for choosing our school to be the advantaged school to receive the book which is going to help our children to grow into responsible people. 
a book about businesses which have been done by the youths and they've been very successful in life. We pledge that we shall put the books to their proper use and keep them in very good shape. I believe the content in these books is going to boost our entrepreneurial skills. We are going to become better citizens and I believe we will, be, we will achieve our goals not only from our books that we are reading but also from the entrepreneurship skills that we are going to achieve. Thank you so much and I believe, I mean I pray that God blesses you, grants you what you like most. Thank you so much. In Uganda we have people who have many things but cannot give. But we have a person with a good heart and is able to give. Not to the children that he has ever seen, or not to children that he will benefit maybe later directly, but a person with a good heart. Who whether will ever see you later or not can be able to say, please have this. Oh. You've not only given us the books, but you've inspired us. You've motivated us to pursue our dreams. And we are so thankful. Whatever that dream is, is actually your passion. And if you can figure out a way to live your life doing that thing that you're passionate about, you will live a happy life. Compared to if you do something that you, you have a job which you're not passionate about, then you'll be miserable to life because you're spending more time at work. So that's why I'm encouraging you don't kill your dreams. You're, you're young, you still have time. I know you have a lot of them. Pursue them. Nothing is impossible. How we wish we have about 10 of you in Uganda. Uganda will be America. I want to thank you for having considered and having chosen us as part of the team that you thought really relevant to be taken into this whole thing. Thank you very much for taking us in this very parental lines. I believe this has been timely, that really the contribution and the books that they are going to get will be a long way, will take us a long way towards our academic achievement that we are striving for. I hope that when you get the book, because my whole point of the book was to inspire the young generation, I hope when you get the book, you read it, but most importantly, you take lessons from there and do something. Doing is way more important. If you read, they say, if you read a book and don't do anything from that book, you're no better off than someone who never read that book. So don't read and leave it there. The same way when you're in a classroom. If you come to a classroom and they teach you all this wonderful information they're teaching you and you never really use it, then you're no better off than a, a, a student who never had access to a school. So please, you, you're spending so much time in school, make sure you get the skills and then use it practically. Don't, don't take uh, studying as a theory, um, a theory exercise. Put it into practice. Whatever you can put in practice, put it into practice. And you're never too young to put it in practice. As we teach our children, we also teach them to become responsible people. If I had the letter that senior threes and fives wrote to me here, you'd read it and laugh. They said that for them they did get pregnant during COVID because I tell them to be responsible people. Damali, when you come in to donate, it is such a wonderful gesture. May God bless you. Thank you. The Ideation Corner continues to showcase young African entrepreneurs who are doing something themselves, sharing their experiences on how they did it, the challenges faced along the way, and how they overcame them. The young people in their midst are actually very brilliant young people. They can think outside the box and sometimes they know much more than we actually do. Let's empower them. Let's use the new curriculum that has been introduced in the S1 class to empower our young people to start thinking beyond the curriculum that they study, to start applying the knowledge that they acquire in schools and implement it and tomorrow what His Excellency the President says and is trying to do will be done because all the young people will not wait to only get the few jobs that government has, but they'll become entrepreneur and they will employ other young people like them. And before we know it, everyone will be happy. It runs every Wednesday on YouTube and Facebook pages named Ideation Corner. 
which also airs on UBC TV every Wednesday at 1.30 p.m. But the reality is that these things are ours and we need to embrace them. We need and, to document them ourselves. Yeah. Indeed, ideas and dreams fuel innovation and entrepreneurship.